Hey beautiful, I wanted to welcome you to this vlog. We are going to be moving out of Berlin and so I thought it would be really fun and really cool to show you my favorite spots specifically in our area most likely because that's usually <laughs> where we tend to be. But yeah, let's go and start with the first one which is Goldie's Burger because we're a little bit hungry, it's Sunday afternoon and it's always really busy and Sunday is probably the worst that you could go to <laughs> that place. But let's go. And also, I eat vegetarian and gluten-free. So if you're looking for vegetarian and gluten-free places, then keep watching. Dear Marie, I hope you got somewhere to be. I've been floating out in space. I thought I'd write to you in case you felt alone. Just like me with this anxiety. Is it all a simulation? One of the zeros in an empty basement I wish I could be with you again Cause I'm lonely as ever And I thought it'd get better And I hope to see you say it's okay this place is so good if you're looking for a burger. I always order the Super Smash BLT, but I always make sure to add as a comment that I don't want any bread, but also to speak to the guys behind the counter because they most likely will not read the comments. So if you have an allergy, make sure to tell them so that you get your order right and can enjoy your food. And as you can see, it's always really, really busy. The best time to go, if you can, is during the week and avoiding lunch times or dinner times come a bit earlier or a bit later and then you're good to go. This coffee place is not one that I go to too often, but it's really cozy and I closed my first coaching client there. This is why I had to include it. Plus they had a pop up of no school donuts, so gluten free donuts. The first one was absolutely delicious, but it had a cream inside and I honestly, I'm a simple girl. I prefer to have just the dough with a little sugar on top. So the first bite was amazing and then I discovered the cream. I was like, it would have been better without the cream. But definitely try the matcha cheesecake was a little bit dry the first one was so good and it's just a good space if you need a coffee or you just want to sit down I would have loved the matcha cheesecake a little bit less dry but at the same time I simply just said in this video I need six of the pistachio cream brulee but without the cream that would be dope This was actually the first time we went to this Mexican place but it was so amazing and it can qualify as a sheep eat. If you eat a taco you get two tortillas with it and enough stuffing for both. It was so so delicious. It was vegan and gluten free so you can have the whole package here. This is a highly recommend and if we wouldn't have left Berlin this would have been a very frequent visit for us. <laughs> We kind of ordered the whole menu. So we had the quesadillas, the bowl, the burrito and the tacos and everyone was really happy with their food. I had the tacos personally and I absolutely loved them.
This brunch place is another place where you might need to bring some time to wait but this sandwich is so amazing and it's pretty big so we shared it because we weren't that hungry that day but anything I had from this menu so far has been absolutely amazing the owner is so sweet he reminds me so much of my time in Amsterdam and the whole place reminds me of Amsterdam if Amsterdam can do one thing for food it's brunch <laughs> You might have noticed that most spots here are food but this next one is absolutely amazing it's a cinema so it's a york cinemas but this is the one that i love the most which is called noise off it looks a little bit like a french bistro which i absolutely love we watched poor things and that movie had me traumatized entertained irritated emotionally completely all over the place and I have no words for this movie. I do think it's a really good movie and it's really entertaining. But at the same time, I had to close my eyes many, many times and it left me mind boggled for days. But I think everything about this cinema is so cute from the tickets to the whole vibe. Most of these cinemas from the York group are small and have some special character, are old theaters. I really love the whole vibe especially of this noise of cinema so definitely give it a go today we we're really tired after moving lots of stuff into boxes so we ordered some indian this place has great indian vegan food and it's so delicious anything from the bakery so I've got the tofu miso I don't remember what exactly it was called I need to double check but it's so so good This gluten-free bakery is just so good that we went back the next morning for our road trip. I got a spinach pasta sandwich, which was absolutely delicious, and a butter croissant, which you will be hearing about now. I've got a croissant for Oshiona because we actually stopped on the way to our new place, and it's super heavy, but I'm gonna try. I haven't had a croissant in forever, so. It's good. It's really good. 
it is a, a tiny bit dry, like drier than if you have like a nice butter cochon from Paris. But it's a really good croissant and it has a typical croissant taste, so I'm really happy. I had to come back because I had a bit more of the croissant and it is really so good. So if you're in Berlin, I would so, so highly recommend to go to this bakery. And if you can't have gluten, we have the GPS in the background. If you can't have gluten and you haven't had a croissant or not really good ones, Go for the croissant, it's so good, but also the cinnamon buns are so good there as well. I haven't tried the pizza because I think the pizza is too expensive in a way there, and I know really good gluten free pizza places, which you're gonna see in this vlog. I just had to come back here and just praise the croissant. This was our last night in Berlin and we went to our favorite Vietnamese restaurant that is close to our house and we absolutely love Vietnamese food. I always say if I could only eat one cuisine for the rest of my life, it would be Vietnamese. I've been floating out in space I thought I'd write to you in case you felt alone Just like me with this anxiety Is it all a simulation? One sense heroes in an empty basement I wish I could be with you again Cause I'm lonely as ever And I thought it'd get better And I hope to see your face somewhere Cause I'm lonely as ever And it doesn't get better